So this is my assignment one synthesizer. Um, it is a FM and subtractive synthesizer. It's got an LFO and it is polyphonic. Uh, so I have on the left here, you can see I have a uh, an arbitrary number of synthesizer submodules. Um, all of these are all the all the controls are global, so all of the uh, synthesizer subunits will be playing with the same parameters, uh, just different notes. Um, they all have uh, individual low frequency oscillators, so those are not synchronized. So as you start playing more and more, they kind of get noisy. But um, yeah, I'll play some. Uh, I'll play a couple of my presets. So preset one is. Uh, what was it again? Ah, uh, yeah. So it's a uh, triangle wave uh, FM uh, FM modulated triangle wave. Nothing else really going on here. Um, uh, it's got a yeah harmonicity of four. Um, yeah, nothing crazy. Uh, preset two. It's a little bit weirder. Uh, it is FM modulated sawtooth. Um, sawtooth waves when uh, FM modulated are really gnarly. They make very, very rough noises. You can kind of hear it. You can kind of hear it in here. Um, but what I did to kind of tame that a little bit was I used a low. Uh, a low pass filter a low res object um, and also uh, another note uh, the low res um, the filtering frequency is actually controlled as a function of the note frequency that you're playing so it's a multiplier uh, what you're controlling is the multiplier so the filter cutoff frequency is always some multiple of the uh, the frequency that you're trying to play of the note that you're trying to play. Um, preset three is a little bit more subtractive. It's still FM modulated, um, but with more subtractive going on. Sinusoidal, so a very, very bright, very um, pleasant, soft, soft and bright, I guess. Um, and fade out on it. Um, and then uh, preset four is a fun one. Preset four is the shepherd's tone. Um, so, well, I guess we'll, we'll just give it a give it a shot. So, very long release on this one as well. It's got a, the LFO running, no FM though. Uh, a little bit of the uh, uh, low pass uh, resonant filter. On, it, the low pass resonant filter is on though. Um, so you can hear what is a shepherd's tone? It is it is a auditory um, trick, I guess. I don't know what to call it. Um, hallu auditory hallucinate? No, that's wrong. Um, auditory trick, I guess. Um, that makes your brain think that it is continuously increasing in frequency even though it doesn't get anywhere. Um, the way it does this is by fading out the high frequencies and fading in the lower frequencies. Um, and another thing to note is that the uh, this continuous pitch shifting is cyclic and the phaser for it is happening on every single voice channel. Each voice channel has its own uh, shepherd's tone oscillator. Um, but the phasing between them is all constant. So when you play two notes, the relationship, be the frequency relationship between them is maintained. Um, so you can still play fun things like... And you can kind of still hear it. I mean, it's not super musical. It's kind of cool, though. Um, it's it's very neat. It sounds, uh, I don't know, it sounds okay, I guess. Um, but it's very neat. Um, yeah. Um, and the one last thing to note is that uh, the shepherd's tone can be played backwards by setting the frequency negative. Woo
And you can, and the the uh, trick starts to break down a little bit when you play it at higher frequencies, because you can kind of hear the um, where it wraps back around. I'm fading it in properly with like a, it's not really a crossfade, because it's not too, one thing fading into the next, but it actually kind of is a crossfade from low to high frequency, but still. Um, but yeah, that's my uh, that's my synthesizer and a couple of the presets that sound cool. So.